Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 2 Battle Pass has fully been leaked. From each and every single one of the brand new Battle Pass skins that you guys are gonna be able to get in the new season, along with leaks about tons of brand new collaborations that you guys are definitely gonna be excited about, as they will be arriving in the game very, very soon. We are gonna be going over here in today's video, so trust me, you wanna make sure you are staying tuned to the very end of this video, as we're gonna be going over everything. But before we get any further, we are still gifting five of the most loyal subscribers every single day inside of the brand new item shop. And we do actually have some brand new emotes available today, which are definitely pretty cool. So if any of you guys are going to be in need of a gift, all you have to do is drop a like on this video, make sure you are subscribed to the channel with the post notification bell turned on, and drop a comment down below with your Epic Games ID. And if you have been picking up anything inside of the item shop for yourself, do consider using my support creator code YTRA as it greatly supports the channel that extra mile. Hashtag ad. The Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 2 is releasing in less than one month's time, and we obviously have tons of brand new leaks about it from all of the upcoming Battle Pass outfits. But before we get into that, we've actually just gotten some brand new leaks about tons of brand new collaborations, one of them which I'm definitely pretty excited for. But one of the very first ones that looks to be a brand new Deadpool collaboration, as we have just gotten the release of the brand new Deadpool 3 movie trailer, it's going to be big news for any of you guys who missed out on the original Deadpool skin all the way back in Chapter 2 Season 2. Two. You know that this movie is going to be called Deadpool and Wolverine, which is definitely pretty cool, confirming Wolverine will in fact be in this actual movie as we did see him in the trailer. This is coming to the game due to the fact that we do know that Fortnite are now working alongside with Disney, as we obviously do know that that collaboration was announced just a few days ago. We will be getting an all brand new Disney experience in Fortnite in the form of a brand new game mode. We do know that Disney does actually own Marvel, and that is why we can obviously see tons of Marvel places on this actual map. The Deadpool movies are now actually owned by Disney as they did use to belong to Fox as there was even a Disney joke at the very start of this trailer. It's gonna mean a brand new Deadpool outfit obviously being the version from that brand new movie which I definitely do think looks pretty cool and definitely more unique to the version that we obviously have in the game already. We most likely will even be getting a brand new Wolverine outfit as well considering Wolverine's gonna be getting a brand new outfit that we don't actually have in Fortnite just yet. You guys how all of the other Wolverine outfits have been exclusive to either the Battle Pass or even the Fortnite crew. This is gonna be good news so obviously you guys will be able to pick up these brand new skins inside of the Fortnite item shop. It does look like this collaboration should be arriving inside of the brand new season of Fortnite. Consider we do know that the yacht is actually back on the Fortnite island, which obviously was where Deadpool was back in Chapter 2 Season 2. There's definitely a lot to look forward to when it comes to this brand new collaboration. So be sure to let me know down in the comments if you guys are excited to see Deadpool make his way back into the game in the form of a brand new item shop cosmetic. We also had a leak of tons of other collaborations that will be arriving in the game thanks to Xbox Air who has been on point when it did come to all of the previous leaks that he's had about skins. It does look like there's a massive list as it looks like One Piece will also be arriving in Fortnite, which I know a lot of people who have been actually waiting for for quite a long time. Definitely can't expect to see that one arrive in the very near future, but we do also have Final Fantasy VII. We do also have another Spider-Man collaboration in the form of Dr. Octopus. I think it's actually pretty cool to see him finally make his way into the game. Obviously, his back bling will be four of the claws, just like in the movies and the comic books, so that's that's definitely going to be a pretty cool skin. And we also do actually have Skeletor, which I believe is from He-Man. He was actually in Call of Duty in the past, so that's definitely going to be nice to see him make his way over to Fortnite in the form of a brand new collab. We do actually have some brand new DC collabs, which has honestly been forever since we've actually last seen a DC skin in the game. It looks like we're actually finally going to be seeing the arrival of Robin, who was obviously one of Batman's sidekicks, which I definitely do think is going to be a pretty cool skin, as I know a lot of people have been waiting for Robin to make his way in the game. I do you think it's kind of funny that we did actually get a Robin version Version of Eminem and before we actually got the official release of a Robin outfit. Be sure to be on the lookout for that as we do even know that we're going to be getting a Peacemaker collab as well which is also from DC. Even more Marvel collaborations in the form of Magneto, also Cyclops, Colossus and even the Fantastic Four. It's honestly going to be crazy. I'm actually really excited to see the Fantastic Four make their way into the game as I definitely do think the Human Torch is going to be a super sick skin. You can be sure to let me know down in the comments if you guys are excited for that as I definitely know I am collaboration should be arriving in the game over the next few seasons so be sure to keep your eye out on them as they're definitely going to be some pretty cool ones you know the brand new season of fortnite will be releasing on march 8th but it turns out it actually could be delayed by one day as inside of the game files it does actually state that the season will be ending on march 9th I think people to believe that we could potentially be seeing a live event at the very end of the season which i definitely do think would be pretty cool considering we do obviously have all of the brand new storyline information with agent jones obviously trying to find peely the ongoing war between the 
society and also the rebels as we do know that valeri is currently looking for pandora's box as you can actually see this from a map change we got recently which directly links into the brand new season of fortnite obviously being greek themed for next season's battle pass we do actually have quite the amount of skins with the very first one actually being godzilla for the release of the brand new godzilla x kong the new empire movie you know epic games currently has the rights to godzilla as we actually did have a godzilla skin inside of fall guys which is also owned by epic games we will be getting some brand new events on the fortnite island which will actually be in the form of brand new earthquakes this is actually to tease this brand new collaboration as it looks like godzilla will be one of the battle pass outfits you guys are going to be able to get your hands on inside of the brand new season I'm honestly really excited about and I can't wait to see what this skin officially looks like in game as it's obviously going to be for the release of the brand new movie. Even briefly links to the theme of next season considering the characters are called Titans and we do know Titans are also linked to Greek mythology. You guys can be sure to let me know down in the comments if you guys are excited for the arrival of Godzilla. Next up we do also have some brand new Greek themed characters such as the arrival of Zeus the god of lightning which I definitely do think is going to be pretty cool as he's obviously one of the main gods in the Greek pantheon. You know will be arriving on the game in the form of a brand new npc boss that we will be able to find on the fortnite island as he will be spawning in using this effect right here i'm honestly really curious to see exactly what his brand new mythic item is going to be as we do know we're going to be seeing a total of five brand new bosses on the island next season do you think that zeus is going to be a pretty cool skin to see in the game next up we do also have cerberus as well the three-headed dog from the underworld and it does look like his skin is going to be insanely customizable you can actually see we do have Cerberus stage 1 right here and it does look like the final stage will actually allow you to put 3 heads on the skin just like traditional Cerberus. I'm honestly really excited about it as I do think that this skin is going to be a pretty cool one to see in game and I'm wondering how the 3 heads are going to affect the ADS when you're actually in the middle of a match. I do also think it would be pretty cool if this character is a brand new boss and he did have a brand new underworld location as obviously we do know Cerberus is obviously one of the gatekeepers of the underworld. Obviously I have to wait and see what happens with that but it could be a link to a brand new location on on the Fortnite Island next season. But we also do have Medusa as well, who is also another Greek mythology character who can actually turn people into stone if you do look directly in her eyes. We actually had a look at on an Epic Games survey as well, along with some other Greek mythology themed outfits. I'm personally really excited to see what this outfit is like in game, and even if she does get a brand new boss on the island inside of the season. Considering I think it would be pretty cool if you're able to turn people into stone next season in the form of a brand new mythic ability. You can be sure to let me know down in the comments if you guys are excited to see Medusa make her way into the chapter chapter 5 season 2 battle pass well it does also look like next season's secret skin is actually going to be jake sully from the avatar movies which is actually going to be a big collaboration as it's also linked to disney also does link into the theme of the next season as we do know the planet in those movies is called pandora and we do know pandora's box is going to play a big part in the storyline next season obviously having this collaboration is definitely going to be pretty fitting with jake sully being an official outfit that you're going to be able to get obviously a few weeks into the release of the brand new season considering he's obviously the secret outfit which i'm honestly pretty excited for so be sure to let me know down in the comments what you think about avatar arriving at fortnite as obviously this was partially revealed in the disney trailer as well not only that it does also look like there's going to be the arrival of the minotaur as well and also a brand new minotaur's maze location you know is a man like bull character from greek mythology who is known to roam around a labyrinth so that's definitely going to be pretty cool if we do get that in the form of a brand new location next season overall i do think that the skin looks pretty cool i'm a big fan of the black and red so be sure to let me know what you think of it as i definitely do think that it's going to be one of the better skins next season honestly really curious to see if his brand new mythic item is actually going to be his hammer as he is known to be walking around this maze actually holding a hammer trying to hunt down anybody who tries to solve his maze it still definitely has me pretty excited nonetheless next up we do also know that next season we shall be seeing the arrival of a brand new devil may cry collaboration as obviously devil may cry is another gaming legend series outfit this was also leaked and also kind of does link in with the theme of next season considering the underworld is a big part of greek mythology and we do know devil may cry partially takes place in hell the arrival of dante in the form of a brand new skin which i definitely do think is going to be a pretty cool one as obviously he's going to be a part of the gaming legend series we do seem to be getting a lot of gaming legend series inside of the game now which i'm definitely a big fan of so if there's any character out of any game you'd like to see make their way to fortnite next who would you like to see obviously the next season of fortnite is actually going to be releasing in literally less than a month as i said at the very start of this video and we have tons of brand new updates that are going to be arriving in the game very soon be sure you're staying tuned here on the channel as we will be going over even more leaks as we do get them Unfortunately, that is all we pretty much have time for here in today's video. If you did watch all the way to the very end of it, be sure to drop this word down in the comments alongside with your Epic Games ID. 
If you're not already, do consider using my support creator code YTRA inside of the Fortnite item shop as it greatly supports the channel. Hashtag ad. If you did enjoy the video, do consider dropping a like on it, subscribing to the channel if you are new, and thanks for watching.